welcome, Devil Sniper here, and this is episode number 16, season number one of our career mode with West Ham United. And yes, today is Thursday, not Wednesday, as I said I would upload, but don't forget I am still uploading regularly. There was a video yesterday about an invisible hack on Call of Duty Ghost. But anyway, let's look at the table. That's far more important. We're on 22 points, Liverpool are on 32. We're 10 behind them. Seventh is realistic. Back-to-back -back victories has really given us some confidence. The boys are now... Full of energy and absolutely raring to go. But we have two tough games coming up. We have to play Arsenal and we have to play West Bromwich Albion. So we haven't got an easy couple of games. But if we can keep this form going, if we can get anything from two to four points, I would be absolutely elated. It's not about gaining the victories. Well, of course it is about gaining the victories because we're in a results business. But it's about keeping that momentum going. Keeping the form going. Not losing games. And it doesn't get any harder than taking on Arsenal at Upton Park. But hopefully we will have enough in our locker to see off Arsenal. As Arsenal kick off the first half of the game, the ball's with Oxley chamberlain He's going at us at 100 miles an hour. Samras dives in a little bit there, makes it easy for Chamberlain. He spreads the ball out to the right-hand side into Sanya. Sanya back into Oxley. Oxley with three players around him. Manages to get the ball back to Sanya. Sanya digs out across. Diomi at the back post with a confident header. Nonchalantly knocks it down to... Byram and Byram distributes the ball, but we have it with Vaste up front, knocking the ball round the corner into Joey O'Brien. O'Brien with the ball in, Morrison with the header, and a huge save early doors from the Arsenal goalkeeper. If that was anyone else apart from Ravel Morrison, you have a feeling that would have been a goal, especially with Andy Carroll in great form at this moment in time. But Morrison is in scintillating form, to be honest, and he should have put it away. But Vaste muscled off the ball there. He doesn't look happy about that, and he dives in a little bit too early there on Mertesacker. That's a bit of a rash decision. Uh, rash Rash challenge, and the referee looks like he is going to award a yellow card. It looks like Vaste was a little bit disgruntled from being muscled off the ball earlier in the game, and he takes his aggression out on Mertesacker. Oh, that's something we're going to have to remedy. We can't have that going on. I don't mind the boys playing hard and tough, but that's a little bit naughty. It's Morrison with silky school skills. Feeds the ball into Vaste. Vaste with a chip to the back post, but he gets it all wrong. Unbelievable. Diomi picking the ball up the back post, swings it back in. But the Arsenal goalkeeper comes out and collects that around about seven yards from his goal line. Bit of poor play then. Oh, Andy Carroll nearly read the short free kick. Unbelievable. The ball's knocked up to Giroud. Noble gets in on Giroud, and the referee's awarded a free kick. It looks like he's going to book Noble. This is ridiculous. Unbelievable decision by the referee. Absolutely unbelievable. Giroud receives the ball. Noble gets a foot on the ball. And he's just a bit stronger than the French wuss. And knocks him to the ground. And uh, as we say, unfortunately, he was awarded a free kick and a booking. But Ramsey drifts past Andy Carroll into a shooting opportunity. But that's a great save by Adrian, who has found some fantastic form. The ball over the top is a fraction too long for big AC. He just doesn't have the legs to get on the end of it. And the referee blows the half-time whistle. And at the moment, it is West Ham United nil. Arsenal nil, which is pretty much a fair reflection of the game. It was a very evenly matched game. Both teams having good opportunities and both teams failing to score. But the army receives that ball on the right-hand side and we move further on. As Vast Tate is absolutely taken out there, that's a disgraceful challenge. And the referee's doing nothing about it. It looked like it was going to award a free kick to Arsenal. That's unbelievable. Byram, right-hand side. Skipping past Jack Wilshere. Swings the ball in. And Vaste was nearly there for a header at the near post. That was some beautiful football. Morrison picking the ball up. Knocks it to Samras. Samras with a delightful chip on the ball. onto Morrison. Morrison nearly connects with it. And it looks like there was an infringement on Morrison as he was running through. And the referee has awarded a free kick. Looks like Vermaelen just catches. Yes, he just catches Morrison there. I personally feel that should be a yellow card. But obviously the referee disagrees. Morrison in great confident mood. Steps up. 66 minute. Can he put it away? Oh, the shot's on target, but it's an easy save for the goalkeeper. He got the height and the dip on the ball, but just not enough power on the ball, which is unfortunate. O'Brien into Noble. Noble's been sensational yet again. Spreading the play to Byram, who has been fantastic down that right-hand side. Swinging the ball in. Big Andy Carroll! Oh, my days! 1-0 to the West Ham. 72nd minute. What a fantastic header there by Andy Carroll. The distribution by Noble to spot the run from Byram and the composure of the young lad to swing a crossing to Andy Carroll at the near post was absolutely sensational. And we're going to be making some substitutions because the boys have been running themselves ragged. Off goes Diami, Morrison and Vaste. On comes Jarvis, Nolan and Collison. The boys have run themselves absolutely ragged, but the ball's fed into O'Brien. Left-hand side, corner flag, swings it in. Oh, my days, the Arsenal keeper did not look happy with that cross. Very, very, very nervous. And the ball swung in by Nolan. 
Ooh, near post. Keeper comes out to make everyone settle down and, and believe that he's okay. But Matty Jarvis set through one-on-one -on -one with the defender. Oh, he just lacked a little bit of composure there, Matty Jarvis. If he could have had a bit of composure, he could have slotted the ball home to make it 2-0. But the referee does blow the final whistle. And it is West Ham United 1, Arsenal 0. That is three back-to-back -back victories. Nine points from the last three games. It's absolutely sensational. Man of the match, without a shadow of a doubt, has to be Ravel Morrison. He is absolutely... Oh, yes, wait for it. Wait for it. Biblical. Oh, my God. He is biblical. Second place, Byram. Composed and sensational. And, of course, in third place is Andy Carroll. Big AC after an absolutely powerful, towering header in that game. But we have got to change the team up. A lot of the boys are knackered. We've got a game in quick succession against West Bromwich Albion, which is going to be a tough game. Mark my words, it will be a tough game. They're a very good side. They play good football. And as you can see, we've mixed the team up. And as you know, we have to do this on the database for the Barclays Premier League. So we're going to have a little fiddle and perhaps talk about the coming weekend, which means next gen. And uh, next gen means what do we do? We're at that stage of, do we continue with the West Ham career mode? Because we will continue with the West Ham career mode. But how do we continue? Do we start fresh on the next gen? Or do we recreate what we have coming to the end of the season on Xbox 360 and then create that on next gen. But I will be making a separate video where it'll be just a simple yes, no answer. And uh, hopefully we can get that sorted really, really quickly. And we can crack on with some next gen goodness. Well, I'm hoping the next gen is going to be full of goodness. I really do hope FIFA works on next gen. But enough of that. Let's get into the game. West Ham United at home against West Bromwich Albion. It's snowy. The pitch was a little bit hard, a little bit firm. As they would say in the horsing world, firm to good going. And uh, I'd give West Ham good odds, but the ball spread out to the left-hand side with Rat. Roland Rat powering down that left-hand side. Gets the ball and Andy Carroll, surely! He's missed it! Oh my days, what an opportunity for the big man. A simple header and he's absolutely missed it. DeMille is caught out of position. The ball swung in. Oh, it's cleared by West Ham. But it comes to Anelka. Anelka into Morrison. Morrison in time and space. He's hit the post. Winston Reid, composure, takes the ball and clears it, thankfully. Matty Jarvis, down the right-hand side, spots the talented run by Carroll. Carroll holds the ball up, plays it back into Jarvis. Jarvis with a beautiful cross. Back post, header, Nolan! And it's a great save from the West Bromwich Albion keeper. Unbelievable play from West Ham. And the West Bromwich Albion keeper is in unstoppable form at this moment in time. Andy Carroll, big AC, picking up the ball deep, going around one player, and the referee blows the half-time whistle just as he was nicking past the player and it looked like one of the lads it looked like Jarvis was going to nick it and take the ball but we go in at half-time West Ham nil West Bromwich Albion nil and Andy Carroll has got to come off he played the game two days ago he's looking a little bit tired he's, he's complaining a bit of tightness around his hamstring and we don't want to risk him so Joey Cole's coming on and uh, Stuart Downing is going to be pushed up front Joe Cole's going to be pushed into the right midfield position and uh, we're going to push Downing up front alongside Matty Jarvis. Hopefully a bit of pace will cause West Bromwich Albion problems. But it's not at this moment in time as, much as Vidra just cut us open. Cut West Ham open. Had a great opportunity and spurned it. But Jarvis, right-hand side. Time, composure. Looking for the run. Swings the ball in. Great ball in. Whitehead had all the time in the world. All he had to do was get it on target either side of the goalkeeper. And that was not 1-0. Unfortunately, he headed it straight at the goalkeeper. And the referee does, in fact, blow the full-time whistle. West Ham United nil, West Bromwich Albion nil. Not the greatest game by any stretch of the imagination, but big Kev Nolan is ranked one of man the match for me personally. Collison in the CDM role replacing Mark Noble. <laughs> big boots to, to fill, and he's done a great job. And yes, I know his name is not Roland, but Roland Rat in third place for me. He's absolutely fantastic. A left back who gets forward that much with 13 passes, 12 completed is just sensational. And look at this, Dylan. I've decided to stay, boss. I want to thank you for remaining patient with me and giving me your support. It's meant a lot to me. Fair deuce, fella. It's all gravy. And Mohamed Diami is concerned. There's media speculation. And I'm going to issue a warning to the media. Leave my boy the fuck alone. It's that simple. And Southampton come in and offer me a manager role. The question is, would I take it? The answer is, don't be so bloody stupid. No, rejected, rejected, rejected. And yes, coming in the next episode, in preparation for next gen, is Player of the Month. Oh yes, hopefully you'll be excited about it. And I will catch you later.